welcome to the next video in the series of Metal Machining. Here we're going to be looking at machining centers. So what is a machining center? The term machining center describes almost any CNC milling and drilling machine that includes an automatic tool changer and a tool that clamps the workpiece in place. On a machining center, the tool rotates, but the work does not. Vertical machining centers generally favor precision, where horizontal machining centers generally favor production. But these are loose generalizations, and plenty of machining centers break out of them. Another common machining center type is the five axis machining center, which is able to pivot the tool and or the part in order to mill and drill in various orientations. What is a vertical machining center? Vertical machining center, also known as milling, relies on rotary cutters to remove metal from a workpiece. Vertical machining occurs on a vertical machining center, or a VMC for short, which employs a spindle with a vertical orientation. With a vertically orientated spindle, tools stick straight down from the tool holder and often cuts across the top of a workpiece. Vertical machining center benefits. Three, four, and five axis capabilities for infinite possibilities as to the part shapes you can produce. Temperature stability through integral cooling. MX hybrid roller guides provide durability and reliability for long-term accuracy. Onboard probing for part location and feature inspection with the cutting cycle. User-friendly CNC controls simplify programming and increase productivity. Pallet changes that increase spindle utilization and reduce part cycle times. What is a horizontal machining center? Horizontal machining center, also known as milling, relies on rotary cutters to remove metal from a workpiece. Horizontal machining occurs on a horizontal machining center, also known as an HMC, which employs a spindle that is parallel to the ground floor. With horizontally orientated spindle, tools stick out of the side of the tool holder and cut across the side of the workpiece, encouraging chips to fall away from the table. Horizontal machining centers also allow for two pallet changer integration to facilitate unattended operation and to reduce part cycle times. Horizontal machining center benefits. Rigid designs allow for fast acceleration and increased repeatability. Large tool storage capacities enable increased part production versatility. Various spindle speed and torque selections for materials range from aluminium to titanium. Three, four and five axis capabilities for infinite possibilities as to the part shapes you can process. A two pallet changer comes standard on most models to increase spindle utilization. Onboard probing and part location and feature inspection within the cutting cycle. What is a five axis machining center? Five axis machining provides infinite possibilities as to the part size and shapes you can effectively process. The term five axis refers to the number of directions in which the cutting tool can move. On a five axis machining center, the cutting tool moves across the X, Y, and Z linear axis, as well as rotates on the A and B axis to approach the workpiece from any direction. In other words, you can process five sides of a part in a single setup. You can see a quick example on the right hand side here with respect to the X, Y, Z and the A and B axis. Five axis machining center benefits. Machine complex shapes in a single setup for increased productivity save time and money with less fixture preparation, boost throughput and cash flow while shortening lead times, 
higher part accuracy because the workpiece does not move across multiple workstations. Ability to use shorter cutting tools for higher cutting speeds and less tool vibrations. Achieve superior surface finishes and overall better part quality. Here's a quick video of a 5-axis machine running. As you can see, you can produce very complex components. In the next video, we're going to be looking at machining tolerances. A tolerance is the total amount that a specific dimension is permitted to vary. It is the difference between the maximum and the minimum limits for the dimension. We will also look into the limits and fits and the implications of that when machining parts. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series and you can contact us if you need any help with your projects in China. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. For more information on other products and materials that we are very capable of looking at, visit our solutions page at sofeast.com. My name is Paul Adams from Sofeast and I shall see you in the next video. Music